but then you've got a three-hour session, so you don't actually race until a lot, lot later. So by preventing that, we have uh, we have the warm-ups intermittent throughout the morning and the early afternoon. And it also gives you and I a chance to just have a break more often as well. I do hope you're enjoying your Saturday and looking forward to two full days we've got here in Sheffield. And we end each day with, of course, the, uh, the medal races. Heat number eight from the far side, Isabella Woolard, Isabel Eiley. Hannah Willis, Lacey Roberts, Bella Hodges, Georgina Chadwick, Rachel Webb, Olivia Martin, Matilda Bogle, and Holly Robinson. And the girl in the red cap in lane number five is Georgina Chadwick, representing Sheffield. The black cap, second from top, Isabel Eiley of Hackney. See the men's racing on the left there as well. They are currently in, uh, that's heat number one of the men's 200 meter IM taking place. Now the two sessions, or the two streams, I should say, uh, do overlap slightly. So at the end of this women's racing, you can switch over to the men's and catch the last 20 minutes or so of action in the men's pool. Of course, you can just flick back to the start of the stream and watch it from the beginning. Everything you're watching over the course of the weekend is going to be available to you afterwards. And is uh, available to, of course, skip back at any point. If you've, if you've jumped on and we're in, we're in heat eight here, and you think, oh, should have been in heat number four. Don't worry, just do a quick rewind. And Georgina Chad, Louise Jones... Blythe Kinsman, Zoe Ryan, Amelia Oliver, Charlotte Room, Daisy Purchase, Olivia Martin, Abby Salscombe, Holly Waymond and Elise Massey. Yeah, Louise Jones in zero and Olivia Martin in six. Very strong on the opening leg. Uh, Going to maintain that. It's a really good body length advantage for those two through the first 75 metres. In the lane number five, second quickest on paper in the pool, Daisy Purchase, 15 year old from Rotherham. Bit of work to do for her. But look at this from Olivia Martin, 15-year-old from Mount Kelly. And there's a uh, storming first half. Over a second out to Jones and Room. Can she maintain it through the breaststroke? Pretty tight now between the rest of the field, really. Uh, two, three, and four. Zoe Ryan, Amelia Oliver, and Charlotte Room. Nothing to separate those. A little bit further back to uh, Louise Jones on the far side and Daisy Purchase in lane number five. But look at this. This is fantastic stuff from Martin in six. 50 metres freestyle. She's going to turn with a couple of body lengths lead. It's 3.15 seconds. Four and a bit back to Ryan Oliver. Over five seconds to purchase. Surely she's got heat number three in the back. She's going to get a good time here as well. Her entry was 2.24.32 for the 15-year-old. There's no chance she's going to get caught. So the race behind her for second place in the heat is Charlotte Room and uh, Amelia Oliver in four and three. 
But look at that, 220 and a half for Olivia. Home swimmer City of Sheffield, Phoebe Cooper, 13 years old, second fastest of the remaining juniors in this one of the 455-74. Two seconds slower than Ella McKeever of Camden Swiss. Always like to highlight the work being done by the inverted commas smaller clubs. Camden Swiss being a good case in point. They've got some great young talent, both male and female, and they've got the fastest qualifier for this junior final in Ella McKeeva. 16 years of age, but watch out for 13-year-old. What a phenomenon she potentially could be. Phoebe Cooper of City of Sheffield going in lane number five. And we have four swimmers, actually five swimmers who run the five minutes this morning. And Phoebe Cooper. Maybe hearing what I'm saying through the PA system here is our early leader. Annabelle Wilkinson in second place. Then Marissa Booth. Phoebe with a 4.55.74. She's got Annabelle Wilkinson, a teammate alongside her. One 13-year-old and one 16-year-old. So everybody here talking in glowing terms of the potential for Phoebe Cooper. And she's showing it at the age of 13. No fear. It's kind of what you want to see from young swimmers. And she certainly does not have that. No fear whatsoever. Lane five. Two Sheffield swimmers at the front of the field, too. One, two at the moment. 0.47 between Cooper and Wilkinson. Then it's Marissa Booth in third place. And uh, followed closely by Kate Morris. So Sheffield one and two as they go into the backstroke leg. And uh, this will obviously help. This is a bit like a training session for these two. They'll be looking at each other, knowing what they do in training. Phoebe, looking like she's uh, got everything pretty much sussed as far as the backstroke is concerned. See what happens when we get round to the breast, but still 0.75 between the two of them at this stage. See if anybody else potentially can work their way through the field, but Phoebe's uh, entry time is 4.50.19, and uh, she at 4.55, this one's a 4.50.19, I believe is a, a personal best. And, uh, like everything working metronomically for her, and still being followed by her teammate, Annabelle Wilkinson. Anything happening to change things behind? Not really, Marissa Booth still third, now moving up into fourth, Kate Morris. And uh, so far, for those who haven't seen Phoebe before, which will be a majority of you, I imagine, probably amazed just how smooth she looks at the age of 13. Definite potential talent. And Annabelle Wilkinson, too, at 4.58 this morning. But look at Phoebe Cooper. It seems to have even strength strokes. There'll be other people who've got pretty strong breaststroke to come back, including Marissa Booth of Wickham District, but well over halfway now, of course. 250, that is, 150 to go. And Phoebe Cooper is just plowing on relentlessly. Could she get under 450 today, which would be her personal best? And that is incredibly impressive. We say, when you think about the likes of Hannah Miley and Amy Warren, Bill Watt not being with us any longer. We're probably looking towards Paris and certainly looking towards LA for our 400 diameter. And could it be potentially Phoebe Cooper we're talking about? At the moment, we're talking about her all the time because she is leading this by a long way. That lead is getting bigger and bigger. Moving up into second place in a moment, it would seem, is Ella McKeever of Camden Swiss, but it's hard to see anybody getting that's 5.76 is the advantage with 100 to go. And whilst they might be battling for second place, 75 to go. It seems hard to believe that anybody's going to really get that close to Phoebe Cooper. Battle really is joined for second place. That's mighty tight, but the uh, lead is not. Kiva still holding on to second, though. Coming right back at her is Marissa Booth of Wickham District. Just 50 to go for Phoebe Cooper. So that PB, 450, looks like that's going to go, almost certainly. This race is certainly hers, and second place might go to Marissa Booth, 
16 year old from Wickham District. She's worked her way into second place, and Ella McKeever in third. Last few meters for our leader. Wow, that 450 is gone. 450 has been absolutely smashed to smithereens. 446 26 for Phoebe Cooper. Remember where you saw her maybe first. That is mightily impressive for a 13 year old. Marissa Booth in second place and Ella McKeever. We've had two exceptional back to back swimmers, both from City of Sheffield, Amber Keegan, followed by an amazing display by Phoebe Cooper.